Yeah! I'm in pose in front of the in front of the Villa sticker. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today it is a big one today it's man united at home it's been almost two months since i've been to villa park and since then villa's form has really dipped off to be fair i missed the home game against newcastle we lost i missed the home game against chelsea we lost which sounds like i'm the good luck charm at these home games so hopefully we get the win today and go meet my mate max now we're gonna go get some food we're gonna go to the ground i'm gonna watch villa win today come on here we go we can see him lurking in the distance He's a bit of a channel regular, unfortunately. Hey, you're Clara. I'm blue. There we go. Hey, Max, it's, it's been a while, hasn't it, mate? Yes, how's guys. It been? How's you, it? How are we going, guys? you just come off a of skiing holiday, haven't you? Yeah. How was the skiing holiday? Yeah, living, guys, living, living the dream. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to everyone that you had to go through the pain last week of not seeing me. <laughs> but the bad luck returns. <laughs> the bad luck returns. Yeah, but uh, we're going to win today, aren't we, I think? Uh, I don't know. I don't I'm know. A bit, I'm a bit controversial about today. I feel like... Um, Man United have just come off, I think, uh, was it a 3-1 win at home? Yeah. I feel like Hoyland, uh, Garnacho especially, has been fantastic recently. Try me in pose in front of the, in front of the Villa sticker. <laughs> <laughs> you are one handsome young boy. Oh, I love you. We're fifth, Man United are sixth. Uh, although, to be fair, Man United are eight points behind us, so there's a bit of a difference, but it's a bit of a must-win game. We're not on the best of form, just losing to Chelsea in the Cup. United have won three games in a row, but I don't know, I've got one of the feelings today. Whenever we play at home, we seem to play better, even though we haven't been great recently, but I don't know. It's a bit of a must-win game today. Uh, Man United obviously won place below us, but it is what it is. Come on, Villa. Look at that lighting. Arrived in Birmingham, New Street, we've got about an hour and a half to kick off, something like that. I, you know what? I, I, before I really hated Sunday games, but to be fair, we've had a couple Saturday games, a couple night games, and this is the first Sunday game in a very long time. I actually don't mind being on a Sunday. We've got a few more Saturday games coming up because not in Europe, but yeah, to be fair, Sunday. I'm usually a hater, but you know, not today. I don't know. Pigeons flying everywhere. Max is debating whether to buy a shirt. Max, I think you should buy one with Alicia Lehman or Rachel Daly on the back. It's tempting, guys, it's very tempting. <laughs> So with this month's YouTube earnings, guys, I've decided to buy this car. Can confirm that is, yep, that is, that's my, that's my car. Look at that. Oh my God. Here we are here today. We're joined with... Manny Central. Manny Central, yeah. Villa channel, yeah. Go subscribe to him, guys. Big up, man. So, Man United at home today. First of all, what's going to happen today? Listen, teams are coming now and they think they can wrap up Villa Park, you know. Yeah. See, today we need to get the win. I think this game decides who gets top four. Yeah, we've still got a lot to play this season, but I think we win today and uh, top four can possibly be guaranteed. Ta can possibly be guaranteed. So yeah. you're saying about top four, we look like we we're kind of in a title charge a few weeks ago. Now it's kind of coming to an end, but you're looking at that top four. Is that what you expected from the start of the season? Oh, well, not really. Last season, we did get Conference League. I was expecting maybe a top six, a European place, possibly Europa League football. I was expecting this season, but we started off well, off well so why can't we go all the way and get top four? Unai Emery is the perfect manager in place to get top four, so I'm confident we can still get it. Yeah, and uh, finally, what's going to happen today? Score prediction today. Score prediction. I've been predicting 2-2. Two, two. On my preview, I predicted 2-2, two, two, man. But, yeah. because we're at Villa Park <laughs> now, change of energy, I'm going to go for 2-0. Okay, there you go. Love it. And uh, up the Villa. Up the Villa. Hi, guys. How you doing? This is uh, Grandad. Villa United today. As you can probably tell, I'm not there. I'm down here in Australia. Uh, Max was on the slopes last week, so I'm going to do a better video from where I am can't get much further away than Perth, Australia. So uh, hopefully we're, we're going to win. We're going to win. That's all we need to do. Three points. Come on, up the villa. Go on, give us a food review. Oh, is it worth £6.50? Yeah. Yeah, it is worth £6.50. Flip it out. Also, it is uh, starting to rain. Um, yeah. God, I have missed this place. Here we go. I really don't know what to think today. Man United in good form. Our confidence is a bit low. It's a big game for the top four. I hope we get a win. Come on, the Villa! Oh. 18 minutes in, it's been a very end to end game, and Man United have put one. Simple corner routine into the box, header across, Hoyland completely unmarked. John McGinn left him unmarked and it's 1-0 United. It's uh, 
We're only 18 minutes in, but it's one of them goals that you can easily avoid, and it's a good routine for United. It's 1 0. Hold up, hold up. Oh! There we go, it's a little bit better. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. We just need to take it on our chances. Right. So far, this is the game. We're growing into the game now. We're playing better, but we've got to take all these chances. You know, they haven't really had anything in the last 10 sort of minutes, but we have really have any chances. We've got to take them. Should have at least, at least two goals by now. Come on. Oh, God, no. That's good. Oh, what is this? What is this defending? Oh, my God. Oh my god! I'm getting really arm, oh, so you're booking, bro! You're booking! Half time, 1 0 Man United. I actually thought Man United came out in the first 5 10 minutes, played some good football, and they were pretty good. Hoyland's been and Garnacho have been good all, all game, really, but we've had the better chances. I think we should have had at least a couple goals by now. McGinn seems really fired up and up for it. Bailey's been all right. Watkins has been all right. It's all a bit all right. We just need to take our chances, create a few more things, but. United have defended well. They haven't really had that many chances going forward. Uh, like I say, they started the game well. But overall, second half, I'm expecting us to come out, have a shooting towards the whole end. Hopefully, going to get a couple goals, going to get that win, going to beat these Cockney boys. Come on, Bailey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at that bad frustration. God, please, Bailey. Yes! 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 God, they're really fast cut off. Come on! No. Yes! How are we not winning this game? How are we not winning this game? You ask me, you ask me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Time Villa lose 2 1 to Man United. I think it's really disappointing that we didn't win that game and go into the top four. I think that in the second half we had so many chances to kill the game off and we just could not take them. I don't know, Onano in goal for Man United played really well, they had a really solid game, made a lot of saves, but Watkins should have scored at the start of the first half. Louise had a really good chance where he just kind of gave it to. Oh, no, no, and it's just, I don't know, it's our own downfall, really. I thought McGinn was really good today. Bailey was really good before he um, got subbed off. And I think we were very unlucky. I think in the second half, honestly, United defended really well. Maguire and Lindelof putting their bodies on the lines. But in general, they're like attack. Hoyland, Rashford gone. Actually went a little bit quiet. And it was a McTominay header that eventually, um, eventually won on the game. Max has been to uh, eight games this season and saw one win and it was against Warsaw in the Europa Conference League. So he's the bad luck charm, like we said earlier. Bad luck returns. <laughs> and there we go. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe because we're nearly getting to 15,000 subs. It's a really tough one to take for me. It's very frustrating. Like the video, share around, guys. And yeah, go again against Fulham next week away. Come on, the villa. <laughs>